In today's video, Victor Wembanyama and Chet Holmgren are swapping teams, meaning that Wemby will get a chance to play alongside SGA and OKC, and Chet Holmgren will get a chance to play alongside Jeremy Sohan in San Antonio. Obviously, the supporting cast in OKC is a lot better than the supporting cast in San Antonio, but Chet and Wemby are going to be racing to three championships in this video. So let's see who can get those rings first. Season number one is wrapped and Wembenyama had a sensational rookie year, putting up 22 points and 14 rebounds, adding on three blocks a night, almost two steals. He was incredible. Wemby also won defensive player of the year and the Oklahoma City Thunder were elite. 56 wins on the season. Wembenyama even made all NBA second team. Ridiculous. As for San Antonio, they won a measly 28 games. But hopefully they can get a good pick in the draft and start building things up because Wemby might start getting rings very soon. He could get one this year. In round number one, Wemby and the Thunder are going to be taking on the Portland Trailblazers. And this is kind of just a mid-team with all due respect. They don't have one player above 85 overall. We should make easy work of them. We're up three to two and we beat them in six. In round two, it's going to be one of the hottest teams in real life, the Los Angeles Clippers. They've been hooping lately. And it looks like in this sim, they picked up Brooke Lopez. I actually really like that move. He rounds out the lineup well, gives them more defense, more shooting, a nice pickup for the squad. Game one of the series is going to go to us. Clippers will bounce back in game two, but we take game three and game four. Get them out of here. We beat them in five. In the conference finals, it's going to be the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs, of course, have their new additions of P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford and their great backcourt of Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. This is going to be one of the biggest tests of the playoffs so far. Let's see if we can get through this Mavs squad. Game one goes to us. Game two is going to go to Dallas. The Mavs also take game three and game four. We're going to take game five, though. So if we can win game six here, we could potentially pull off a 3-1 comeback. But it looks like Luka and Kyrie aren't going to allow that to happen. We get smacked despite Wemby's best efforts. What a rookie playoff debut for Wemby Nyama. Almost three and a half blocks a night on average. That is ridiculous. But when Tim Hardaway Jr. is giving you 32, there's really not much you can do. Our season is over. And now it's time for the offseason. This is going to be big for both teams. For the Spurs, they're hoping to land a good talent via the draft. And for the Thunder, they just need their players to keep getting better. And they'll probably have some draft picks as well. Y'all know Sam Presti. He goes out there and gets picks. Look at all the improvement in OKC. Wenman Yama is up to a 93 for season number two. And down here, they drafted Ron Holland first overall. So the Thunder were the number one seed, ended up getting the number one pick in the draft lottery. It's insane. Meanwhile, over in San Antonio, they've got a really good point guard for Chet Holmgren. Isaiah Collier coming in at a 78 overall, only 18 years old. He should be a great developmental piece for this squad. And so far, Chet and Wemby are equal in rings, zero to zero. So headed into season number two, we could see Chet lock in and try to have a big year. I mean, he's up to 90 overall. The squad looks a little better. We'll see if San Antonio can make any noise. Luka averaged a smooth triple-double and ended up winning MVP. Wembenyama back-to-back on DPOYs. But Chet Holmgren, I told y'all he was going to start making noise. 90 overall, most improved player in year two. Now, Wemby is a little bit ahead of him. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He ended up making All-NBA first team. No All-NBA for Holmgren just yet, but he did make All-Defensive second team. As for the Spurs, though, they won a smooth 30 games. And then the Thunder, they were cooking 60 wins on the year. Good enough for the two seed. Round number one, it's going to be the Blazers. OKC has faced this team before, and they beat them last time. They're going to do it again. In round two, we got the Denver Nuggets. Wembenyama versus Jokic. This is a huge test for Victor. Game one of the series goes to OKC. Nikola Jokic, who? Wemby's cooking. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. We're all tied up after four games. Let's see what Wemby's got going into this big game five. Yeah, I shouldn't have underestimated Jokic. Wemby was hooping 42 points in this one. He's having an incredible playoffs. What really sticks out to me is almost 18 boards a game. 
but it's the Joker, man. 38 point triple double. He even made five threes. He was doing a Steph Curry impression. We're facing elimination in game six. Wemby, we need another big performance from you, but we're also just going to need his teammates to step up. Last game, his teammates weren't locked at all. And unfortunately, we're going to lose again. Our season is over. Wembenyama, 26 and 12. Shea put up 29, but it's not going to be enough. Jamal Murray, 38. Jokic, 27, 9 and 10. But hey, you can't blame Wemby. It was a really good run for him. The numbers are incredible, especially for a second year player. And now we're headed into season number three. The Thunder have consistently been in the playoffs and been a top seeded team, but the Spurs have yet to even make their way into the NBA playoffs. And I think the Thunder are just going to continue to hoop. They're picking up great young players like Trey Johnson and Carter Knox via the draft. Players on their squad are getting better. So it looks like they're going to be hooping in OKC this season. As for the San Antonio Spurs, they've got Isaiah Collier. They picked up Cooper Flag. They, they might have something here. I think they're looking at a young big three of Chet, Isaiah Collier, and Cooper. And that's a tough big three. This year, I expect San Antonio to at least be a play-in team. And also, just real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. We get it, Luca. You're tough. You're great at basketball. Cooper Flag wins Rookie of the Year in San Antonio. And we're going to check in on San Antonio real soon because they were hooping. Wen Ben Yama, Defensive Player of the Year. And Men Thompson, Most Improved. Kyrie back in Brooklyn is insanity. And Mark Dangalt is Coach of the Year as the Thunder won 61 games. No All-NBA for Chet Holmgren just yet, but he's on all defense with young Cooper Flag, and Chet continues to get better and better each season. As for San Antonio, they're here in the playoffs. 44 wins was good enough to earn them the sixth seed. They'll be taking on New Orleans in round one. The Thunder are taking on Sacramento. I'm not even concerned about OKC right now. I'm pretty sure they'll make easy work of Sacramento, but we got to lock in on this series versus the Pels. This is a big one for the Spurs and for Chet Holmgren. This is his playoff debut. Game one of the series goes to the Pelicans. Game two is going to go to San Antonio. The Pels take game three, but the Spurs take game four. Meanwhile, OKC is up 3-0. But let's get in this Simcast, see if Chet and the Spurs can win this big game five. Oh my gosh, they almost made a last second comeback, but the Spurs end up losing. Chet Holmgren 28 and 10, and now they're facing elimination in game six. They're going to lose. I think this Spurs team is next up. Give them another year, they'll probably be a top seed. But for now, they're just not there yet. Checking in on the Thunder, though, they're taking on the Blazers in round two. The Thunder have beat down on the Blazers like every year in the playoffs, so it's time to do it again. They beat them in six. In the conference finals, it's going to be the Houston Rockets. Victor Wembanyama is knocking on the door of a finals appearance here but he's got to go through Sangoon, Jabari Smith Jr. and Amen Thompson if he wants to make that appearance. Game one of the series goes to OKC. Game two also goes to the Thunder. Oh my goodness, the Thunder easily make their way to the finals where they'll be taking on Paolo Boncaro and the Orlando Magic. The Magic picked up Cade. They've also got Clax. Okay. Not a bad team over in Orlando, but are they good enough to beat us? I guess we're about to find out. Game one goes to the Magic. We're going to bounce back and take game two. We also take game three and game four. The Magic will take game five. So Wembenyama's got a chance to close this series out in six games. But if the Magic force seven, things could really get interesting here. And it looks like the Magic are going to force game seven. Wemby only 10 points, two of 22. I mean, he's been having a good playoffs this year, but two of all of 11 from three. That, that is ridiculous, man. Game seven coming up. The Thunder could blow a three to one lead here. They didn't get off to a great start in this game, but they're trying to come back. It looks like this game might just be close. Headed into the fourth. No, the Magic are going to run away with it. They end up winning this one. And so far, Wembenyama is still ringless. I'm not going to lie, knowing the Thunder and how they are in the game at 2K, I thought Wemby would have a ring by now, but he just hasn't been able to do it. And the Spurs are continuing to get better, so maybe Chet could give Wemby some real comp next year. Maybe we could see him face off in the NBA playoffs. For now, though, the Oklahoma City Thunder are seeing a ton of development from their young guys. They have so many 80-plus players on this roster, just a ton of depth. 
And then over in San Antonio, you've got Isaiah Collier on the come up. Cooper Flagg's getting a lot better. They also have Isaiah Evans, who's pretty nice. They just picked him up 11th overall. They've got some good young talent and some great top end talent on this team. So I think this should be a great year for San Antonio. Same goes for OKC. I'd expect both these squads to be top four seeds. All right, we get it, Luca. Season is wrapped. Victor Wembanyama wins another DPOY, and this year he averaged 30. Mark Dangle, coach of the year, as the Thunder won 66 games. Wembanyama, he was on All NBA first. I mean, that's expected. Low key, I'm surprised he didn't win MVP. But check out Chet. He's on All NBA. The numbers took a huge jump in year four for Mr. Holmgren. And Wemby, of course, was All Defensive first. You had Chet on All Defensive second. Now, checking out the standings, this is where things get interesting the Spurs they won 58 games making them the two seed ended off the season red hot on a nine game win streak then you've got the Thunder they were the one seed with 66 wins could we see a Wemby versus Chad conference finals battle that's what I'm hoping for and it looks like early on, both the OKC and the Spurs are going to advance. So we're off to a good start. The Thunder go ahead and beat Utah in a sweep. But we've got a game five coming up between San Antonio and Memphis. And Memphis might as well have just stayed home. They forgot how to play basketball or something in this game. Great game from Chet Holmgren and the San Antonio Spurs. They're one game away from the conference finals. And we've got the matchup we've all been waiting for. OKC versus San Antonio. Finals trip on the line. Now looking at these two teams, I think it's clear. The Thunder have a lot more talent. But Chet Holmgren has been great, so we'll see what he can do. Game one goes to the Spurs. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. The Spurs get up three to zero, but now the Thunder are fighting back. Headed into game six, the Thunder have won two in a row after being down three to zero in the series. And game six is coming down to the wire. 37 seconds to go. We've got a one point game. San Antonio has the ball. They don't want this to go seven. If it does, things could get ugly. Keldon Johnson is going to give it in to Isaiah Collier. Collier going to swing it to Chet Holmgren. Holmgren's open, but he passes out of it. Shout out Ben Simmons. He swings it to Johnson, and Johnson misses the jumper. Now it's going to go to Josh Giddy for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Giddy finds SGA with the Thunder down by one point. Shea's going to get the screen from Victor Wembanyama. He finds Wemby on the pick and roll, and Wemby gets the layup to go right over Chet. The Thunder have a one-point lead here, about 12 seconds to go. San Antonio can win it with a bucket here. Isaiah Collier has it. He's trying to get in his bag on SGA. Clock is winding down. Not much time left. Collier takes the shot and he hits it. 1.8 seconds to go. Thunder called timeout. So now OKC could win it. The Spurs left him with a little bit of time to get a shot off. Kaysen Wallace on the inbound. Who are the Thunder going to go to? It's going to go into SGA for a three ball. And Shea misses. The San Antonio Spurs pull off the upset. They're moving on to the NBA Finals. It was a rough start to the video for Chet Holmgren. The Spurs were struggling, but he got his chance. He got better teammates, and now they're going to the NBA Finals. Chet Holmgren, 37 points in this one. Isaiah Collier, 24 and 15. Wemby with a triple-double. He averaged 37 a game in these playoffs, but it wasn't enough. And in the finals, the Spurs are taking on the Wizards, and this team is mid. I think the Spurs got this one. Game one of the series goes to Washington. Game two is going to go to San Antonio. No way the Wizards do this. Chet, come on, man. The Spurs will take game five, so we'll see if they can force game seven here. But I can't believe that the Spurs didn't just smack the Wizards. I mean, the Thunder were way better than this Washington team. And it looks like Washington is going to get the Spurs up and out of here. Wow, I can't even believe that. Stefan Cassell with a big game, 39-10, and 10, and the Wizards are champs. So both Chet and Wemby are still ringless. Cooper Flag's getting a lot better in San Antonio. Also, guys like Isaiah Evans and Darren Peterson are improving. So things are looking up in San Antonio after that finals loss. And then checking out the Thunder. Again, just a really good basketball team. I'd be shocked if we didn't see one of our guys win the chip this year.
Season is wrapped and Wembenyama takes home the MVP. Giannis steals the DPOY from Wemby. But check out the Spurs. Greg Pop, coach of the year. 38 years coaching. <laughs> but anyway, the Spurs win 71 games on the season. Ridiculous. And Chet Holmgren only made the third team? That's disrespectful. But it doesn't matter what All-NBA team Chet made, because the Spurs were elite. They were way better than the Thunder. And they didn't even, like, pick up anybody new. I was checking to see if something like that happened. No, they were just great at basketball. But anyways, the Spurs are taking on Portland in round one. OKC is taking on Memphis. And if both our teams win the series, then we could see them face off in round two. And it looks like we're going to see exactly that. Chet versus Wemby for the second year in a row. We've got a rivalry here. Game one of the series goes to the Spurs. Game two is going to go to OKC. Spurs take game three and game four. Chet might be showing Wemby who's boss. Get OKC out of here. And in the conference finals, the Spurs are going to be facing a tough Utah team with Alperen Sangoon, Jalen Green, Keontae George. It's a nice squad. San Antonio finds themselves down 2-1 to one after three games. And in game four, the Spurs lose again. San Antonio take game five and game six. Chet is looking to make a 3-1 comeback and advance to the finals where the Washington Wizards are waiting on him. This could be an opportunity for Holmgren to get revenge on the team who beat him last time. And it looks like Chet is going to take that opportunity. The Spurs end up winning in the conference finals to advance a 3-1 comeback. Chet Holmgren kind of had a stinker, but it's all right. His teammates had his back. And in the NBA finals, the Spurs are taking on the Wizards once again. Now, last year, I thought this team sucked, but I've learned not to underestimate them. Game one of the series goes to the Wizards. Game two is going to go to San Antonio. Spurs take game three. Wizards take game four. Spurs win game five, and they beat the Wizards in six. Isaiah Collier is finals MVP, and currently, Chet Holmgren has a 1-0 lead over Wembenyama in NBA championships. When I started this video, I thought Wemby was going to dominate, but this has been a very surprising turn of events. And the Spurs are just getting better. Look at all the progression. As for the Thunder, they've got a lot of great young guys as well who are continuing to improve, especially Ron Holland and Trey Johnson. These guys are elite. I mean, so far, Chet's doing really well. He's up 1-0 to zero on rings versus Wemby. We'll see if Wemby Nyama can get one this year. Shout out to Cam Boozer taking on the MVP this season. But check out the Spurs, man. 71 wins. They've got a new coach, Garrison Rivers. And despite the Spurs winning so many games, Chet didn't make All-NBA. Victor was on the third team. Numbers kind of dropped this year. Maybe because the Thunder have so much talent. Yeah, I don't know what Chet was doing this year. He didn't even make All-Defense either. But either way, San Antonio was great and so was OKC. The Thunder won 70 games. The Spurs won 71. Holmgren put up great numbers. So did Wemby. Let's get into these playoffs. We could see these teams face off in the conference finals once again. They both make it through round one really easily, and they also make it through round two easily. So now we've got Wemby versus Chet once again. The Thunder picked up DeAndre Ayton now. That's a nice little pickup. Game one of the series goes to the Spurs. Oh my gosh. Man, Chet might have Wemby's number. He's cooking him. The Thunder losing five. What is going on? And in the NBA Finals, we're taking on that one team sponsored by Mr. Beast. They have Bull Bull. Game one of the series goes to the Spurs. The Hornets take game two. Spurs take game three. And Chet Holmgren already has two NBA championships. He's up two to zero on rings over Mr. Wembenyama. What's going on, Wemby? So headed into this upcoming season, we could see Chet Holmgren win the video. He could go ahead and pull off a sweep on Wembenyama, not even let Wemby win one ring. Headed into player progression, we're just looking at two great teams. It's really that simple. So let's get into another season and see if Wembenyama can finally get on the board with the championship. Season is wrapped. Cam Boozer wins another MVP. And Asar Thompson takes home a DPOY. That's kind of cool to see. Shout out to Garrison Rivers, coach of the year. So y'all can tell San Antonio was elite once again. Wemby ended up making All-NBA second team for OKC. 
Chad didn't make it at all this year. He didn't even make all defense. Maybe Chad's getting carried by his teammates because Isaiah collier has got a couple finals MVPs under his belt. Maybe Chad Holmgren's just Steph Curry. He's a good player, but he doesn't win those finals MVPs. In all seriousness, though, it was another solid season for Holmgren. OKC was great as well. So we're going to see if both our guys can match up in the conference finals again. So far, so good. They make it out of round one easy. Round two is also easy. So here we go. OKC versus San Antonio. Wemby, you got to really lock in for this one. Because if you lose this time, Chet could just go ahead and end the video by winning the third ring. Let's see what happens. Game one's going to go to the Thunder. Game two to San Antonio. Oh, don't do it to him. Chet, Chet, Chet. Come on, man. You got to chill out. He's going to do it again. Chet Holmgren is in the NBA Finals, taking on kind of a mid-Chicago team. It might be over with. Game one's going to go to the Bulls. Oh, okay, Chicago, never mind. I owe you all an apology. I wasn't familiar with your game. We finally take a game in game four. We're also going to take game five. Maybe the 3-0 comeback is alive. If we get a game six win here, we could really be in business. With Chet Holmgren's season on the line, this game is coming down to the wire. Ball's going to go to Kobe White. Shot clock is winding down. White going to get the screen. He doesn't use it. He swings it to the big man for a midi and he misses. Now the ball goes to Isaiah Collier. Collier has been incredible for San Antonio over these past couple seasons, but there's an illegal screen on Chet Holmgren. That is a rookie mistake for a guy who is a veteran player at this point in the video. Chicago's gonna give it in to Lonzo Ball. Ball is defended by Collier. He spins. It's nice to see Lonzo out there hooping. And Lonzo, what a time. Beautiful find down to the big man for the layup. Now San Antonio is down by a point. Now San Antonio is down by a point. I'd love to see Chet go get a bucket. Isaiah Collier at the top of the key. He finds Peterson for an open three. Peterson misses, but it's tipped in by Evans. What a huge offensive rebound there to give us a one-point lead. Cole has the ball. Cole, he's going to swing it over to Amundsen. Amundsen working on Cooper Flag here. Amundsen gives it down to the big man. I don't know how to pronounce bro's name. Post fade is off and it's rebounded by Cooper Flag. Flag bringing it up for San Antonio. It looks like the Bulls aren't going to foul here. Oh, they are because 2K stupid. Isaiah Collier's at the line. First shot is good. Second one for Collier is also good. So now the Bulls could tie this game up with a three-pointer. Ball's going to go into Lonzo. Zo working on Isaiah Collier here. It looks like the Bulls are going to go to the post. What a lob. Oh my goodness. That was an incredible play. Lonzo Ball has been throwing dimes on the day of the Super Bowl. My man's is out there playing like a QB. <laughs> First free throw for Collier drops. Second one is also good. 15 seconds to go. Bulls need a three-pointer here. Lonzo Ball is bringing it up. Zo, oh, he turned it over. It's stolen by Chet. And that is going to do it. The Spurs will force game seven here. Chet could pull off a 3-0 to zero comeback to win ring number three. And it looks like game seven is coming down to the wire. A minute 34 to go here. Championship on the line. And the Spurs are up by two. Chicago has possession of the ball. White going to dump it down to Quaintance. Is that how you say bro's name? He misses a shot, gets his own board and dunks it. Th that was absolutely insane. And now this game is all tied up. Isaiah Collier has it. Chet Holmgren is not in the game. No way Chet fouled out. He was having a stinker anyway. So I guess his teammates are going to have to finish the job here. Isaiah Collier has it. To the basket. Layup is good and one. Isaiah Collier is tough, man. He has been incredible for this squad. Free throw is good as well. So we've got a three-point lead. The big in the post is blocked by Aiden, but he gets his own board and dunks on him. What can we do, bro? My man Jaden is tough. He's an 85 overall, but he's playing like a 99. I might have to start calling him Jaden Chamberlain because bro is just dominant out there. Isaiah Collier is defended by Lonzo Ball. Collier is going to get the screen from Dominating. DeAndre Aiden on the roll. Layup is off. I would have expected that. Bilal Kalabali bringing up the ball for Chicago. He swings it to Amundsen. Amundsen over to Jaden. He's going to go to the basket. Okay, I was about to say if he made that. DeAndre Aiden grabs the rebound. And now it goes up to Cooper Flag. Flag going to the basket here. He fakes. He's going to put up a tough shot. Why did he shoot that? But Aiden got the board. Oh no, DeAndre Ayton free throws for the NBA championship. I don't like this. First shot is good. 
Second one for DA is also good. Let's go. Bilal Kalabali on the inbound here. Bulls are going to need a three-pointer. Lonzo Ball dumps it down to Jaden. He's working on DeAndre Ayton. Good defense from DA, and we get the rebound. That is probably going to do it. The Spurs did it. They are NBA champions. Chet Holmgren beats Wembenyama in dominant fashion on the race to three rings. Isaiah Collier, finals MVP. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.